are in charge of the seismic monitoring in the territory. Uh, we have a, a network of sensors, seismic sensors, uh, from which we get signals from the, all the earthquakes occurring in Morocco. Uh, the seismicity in Morocco is uh, related to the uh, movement of the two plates, uh, African plates and uh, Eurasian plates in the Western Mediterranean. Uh, the last uh, big earthquake that took place in the high Atlas mountain with a magnitude uh, seven degrees on Richter scale was the strongest earthquake that, uh, earthquake that we recorded in uh, recent uh, decades. This was uh, attributed to uh, reverse fault uh, beneath the high Atlas mountain. Uh, we believe that this uh, region is a, a seismic active region, but we didn't think that it could reach this level of severity. Uh, more recently, we uh, experienced uh, another earthquake in Azil region. This uh, was uh, with magnitude uh, 5.1. Uh, it was uh, felt in a wide area, but didn't uh, cause uh, any damage. In this room, we have the real-time seismic monitoring uh, system. Uh, here we receive all the signals from the seismic stations in Morocco in real time through satellite uh, technology and we can with this uh, system uh, analyze and locate all the earthquakes that are taking place in Morocco in uh, near real time. After two minutes we have the location of the earthquakes, and, uh, the magnitude, uh, for uh, these earthquakes. Uh, we can then uh, transmit all the information uh, related to the earthquakes to the local and the central authorities in Morocco. Uh, this is based on our network composed of short period and lo long period and broadband stations uh, uh, which allow us to follow the seismicity in Morocco either for small earthquakes and for uh, strong earthquakes uh, 